So, I'm Lisa Gemmel, co-organizer of the We Don't Do Mainstream Film Group, aka WDDM. And I'm here with our director for the evening, Larry Kent. Director of Hamster Cage, our latest WDDM event. So first of all, Larry, I want to get on phone that we thank you very much for joining us this evening and we hope we had a good time and we appreciate you coming. And can I answer that? Definitely. The most boring evening of the year. <laughs> now, I had a great time. I think you guys treated me like a king. I, I, I felt like I really was a director. <laughs> No, it's fun, and I, I really like the idea that you have of DBM. I, I think it's totally appropriate and it's wonderful, and I think you can see by the gifts that you're giving out, all those were really interesting and, uh, and unusual films, you know. So I, I, I'm really excited, and I hope that you guys continue. And I'm glad that being in, I think you're a lot of fun. But not Don. Don tell him. He's a problem. Yeah, he's a problem. Larry, I'm in the room. <laughs> Firstly, your opinion on why you think Canadian film goes so unappreciated? I think, as I said before, I think it's it's a vested interest. If you have Canadian films, and that takes away theater time, TV time from American movies, number one. And number two, it means that everybody has to rethink, you know, we don't make the same movies as Americans. And therefore, I think it's very difficult for critics, for the audience, to reorganize their thoughts. But once you do that, there is no reason why people wouldn't enjoy it. You must remember that psychologically there's a very sort of famous saying that children who grow up without mirrors have no sense of themselves. But culturally that's really true. I think that we really feel that in English Canada because we do grow up without a mirror image of ourselves so we really don't know who the hell we are. I hope that's an answer. It's a great answer. Thank you. So. Discussing the film we saw this evening, has mm. and you mentioned earlier that it was filmed in a period of two weeks. What sort of challenges did you face in filming in such a short period of time? The answer to that is that we were very lucky <laughs> because we had spent a week in rehearsal, so the actors were absolutely aware of where they were at all times. When shooting the film, because we shot it over, theoretically, a 24-hour period, period, we had to make sure every time we shot a scene that took place at dusk, we shot it at dusk, whatever the location. So we, we have a lot of locations, although it seems not to be many, but they are all around the state. So we had to make sure that if quarter to three or four, I mean, quarter past three, half past three, then we broke the scene we were doing and rushed to where we were shooting dusk. The same would apply to the afternoon, the evening shots. The, e the evening was the best, the nights were the best, because the sun, the sun and the light doesn't change. But you were constantly aware of, of doing that. I just want to say thank you. We appreciate you being here with us tonight as our inaugural director evening, you know. And uh, that's it. I don't know. Anybody have anything to add? <laughs> well, Any last words, Larry? Yeah, I do. I think I that. And first of all, I think it's a very. It was a very fun evening. I'm glad you guys. It's a movie and at a party. You can't have anything more fun than that. And uh, everybody could get drunk, which is uh, okay. Helps. <laughs> and I, you know, and you got, <laughs> don't tell Don this, but I think you and him are very fun people to be with, and I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Excellent. All right. Thank got you so much. Yay. Yay.